Alright, my name is James Foster and today I'm going to be reviewing WWE 2K24. Fighting backstage has always been one of my favourite things ever to do in WWE games and they really improved it this year so I'm just going to show a few things here and stop talking because the stuff you can do is excellent. The tech cross body! A display of force! For me, stuff like that reminds me of the old WWE games. I used to play Smackdown vs Raw 2011 so to do something like this, again, in the modern day WWE games, is really cool. Backstage is always fun, but unfortunately, it gets old pretty quickly because of your limitations. You can't enter the office, but you can give your opponent an Irish whip and break all the office windows. Oh God, right through the window! I do appreciate how many different things you could do in this year's game. Look at how far I threw that chair. I thought it was some kind of a glitch, but no, you can actually throw chairs from a great distance, and this is really fun to do. The brutality in these games is definitely back, however be careful because your opponent can counter the chair throw. There's other things too, like suplexing your opponent off the announce table. Also, you can climb on the table again, which is a feature that was unfortunately out of WWE games for some time but I'm glad it's back. You can also interact with the water. You can pick it up and hit your opponent with it, which is a feature that I've never seen before. Players will also be happy to know that we're not getting the same old, same old this year. We've actually got some new match types, but I think I'll just focus on the one. Let's talk about the casket match. The casket match is excellent, and you can actually use it as a weapon and hurt your opponent with it, which is pretty fun to do. You have freedom here as well, to open the casket whenever you please. And that's the word I'm going for here, freedom. You have freedom in this match, you can interact to your heart's content, and that's what I'm looking for whenever I play a WWE game. The footage I'm showing you now was actually the first time I played the game, and I think they're headed in the right direction. This is how it should be every year. There is room for improvement always, but keep doing this WWE. This is what we want. The last thing I'll say is there is a few ways you can get your opponent in the casket. When you've gone over the rope, you can actually close the lid while you're on the apron. And this is accurate as well, because The Undertaker actually did win some casket matches that way. There's this new thing called the Super Finisher. But here's the thing, you could literally do this in WWE 2K23. They just called it something different. Do they think we're stupid? If this is a super finisher, then Seth Rawlins should be doing it off the top rope. A curb stomp off the top rope. Now that's a super finisher, which he's actually done in a match before. The last thing I'm going to talk about is showcase mode. Oh boy, do I have a lot to say about this. First of all, why the hell are we starting the WrestleMania showcase with WrestleMania 3? Where's WrestleMania 1 and 2? So after WrestleMania 3, it's WrestleMania 4, right? No, it's WrestleMania 5. <laughs> it's WrestleMania 5. What about WrestleMania 4? Unfortunately, this is a reoccurring pattern. So I checked before this review. There's actually 16 WrestleManias in this showcase, not 40 like the game suggests. What a disappointment. Even worse, there's only 21 matches. That's absolutely ridiculous. WWE 2K14 came out 10 years ago, and that had a whopping 45 matches. So yeah, they screwed up. It's not all bad though. Showcase mode does have some good WrestleMania matches. The one with The Fiend and John Cena was excellent, and this is actually how it looked live. They've got all the darkness and everything correct. It's all really good. Alright, so now I'm going to give my score on a scale of 1 to 10. This is definitely the best WWE game we've had in a while, but it's not the greatest ever, obviously. There's still lots of room for improvement. Not having 40 years of WrestleMania was really disappointing. It literally said 40 years, but we didn't get it. 7 out of 10.